Do you guys remember the first time that you guys wrote a song? Doesn't matter how old you were, but you wrote a song and you're like, I can do this. Yeah, I was like five and it was very childish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to know the song? <laughs> oh, <laughs> a little more. Now, now I want to know. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know. It was just like, um, <laughs> it was five. I think it was something like, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. We're just sitting around the table making music. It was stupid. <laughs> I don't know. Sound like Mr. Rogers. Hey, that did sound like Mr. Rogers. <laughs> Man, well for him. Uh, yeah, you know, I I remember writing uh, the first song I ever wrote was um, I was about 18, 19 years old. So um, it was a song called My Wife. I got married when I was really young. So oh, yeah, <laughs> got remarried again. But anyway, you know. <laughs> Out, didn't work out so well, but anyway, uh, yeah, she that was a very, she loved the song. <laughs> she did love the song. <laughs> it's just the truth. I mean, so yeah. Um, I think I, I mean I've been writing since I was really young, but like Keisha said, it's kind of like a joke. You know, you're just like, oh, I think I have something special here, and it's like doesn't even rhyme. Yeah, but like, yeah, you're like, it's yeah. especially really don't do it anymore. Um, but yeah, then I think you know around like 18 or 19 when I started like really taking music seriously, I remember writing a song and it was so cool. It was like for the first time I was like, man, that's how I feel on paper. That's it right there. So I don't remember it, but I know it was special. How did how were you able to perfect it from that first piece of music that you guys wrote to whatever you guys are writing today? Like, how did you guys perfect your writing process? I mean, it definitely comes with growth. Yeah. I, I know for me, it's just my journey in loving different types of music. Mm -hmm. It grew me into a better writer. You know, just the different perspectives from right. different writers. Yeah. Uh, me personally, I've been really fortunate to have publishing deals, and, and I've literally got to learn from many many number one songwriters so I mean I've sat in the room with the best of the best for years and, and just tried to soak in everything I could and learn how to write a song so for me that's uh, that's how I did it just being around all those great songwriters yeah I think you know I eventually started writing with people who I was so comfortable with um, for playing wise I don't play an instrument very well so once yeah. I got, yeah yeah once I got comfy um, I think yeah just like hearing like my own style as I kind of changed and listened to different music your writing changes and and even your honesty like what you're ready to actually start talking about sometimes you don't even know you're ready and then you're like writing it and you're like whoa you know what I mean so yeah just growth really it's growth I feel like you knew my next question style how do you how do you <laughs> did I do that to my thought? you were like and I was like whoa, whoa. <laughs> 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 Sorry, as you guys <laughs> Sorry, I, lo I love you guys seriously <laughs> as you guys are finding your your own music sound and style does the writing change as well or does the writing still remain the same it's just the way that you maybe sing it or the way that you you know you release it to the world I mean definitely as, as far as for me I grew up gospel R&B and now I'm transitioning into country and I really feel like I can't wait for the world to hear what I've created because mm -hmm. I think it'll definitely clear up a lot of stuff for people right. um, but I'm, I'm just really excited so of course my newfound love for country I feel like it made me a better writer because now I can really tell a story right. you know yeah, for me, it depends. I mean, like I said, I've had publishing deals, so I've had to write for a lot of other people, you know, other than writing just for me. But if I'm writing for me, it's traditional country. I mean, there's no change in what I do. That's all I know how to do. It's all I'm interested in doing. So, I mean, it's just straight down the line. So, uh, as long as I'm writing for me, it's going to be traditional. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't... I don't really have anything super interesting to say, but I'm going to tell everyone that the songs Keisha's referring to are some of the best songs I've ever heard in my life, and she's about to drop that on the world. Did you guys hear that? You hear that? No, I'm serious. You, hear that? you don't know country pop soul until you know Keisha. Keisha right. Renee. Cool. Keisha Renee. Now, if we get all three of you together in a writing session, what kind of sound will we hear? Wow. It'd be funky. <laughs> sure, right? <laughs> hey, honestly, I'll tell you what. I've written some of my favorite songs with a with a variety of different people that you would never think would. You'd be like, there's yeah. no way we could write good. But yeah, it honestly works out really well most of the time. Mm -hmm. It's like what do they call it? A potluck? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody brings something different to the table, yeah. and it just creates something really cool and delicious.